U.S. court shoots down lawsuit by 169 Indians against Trump's H-1 visa re-entry bank U.S. court turns down a bill by 169 Indian citizens against Trump ban on H-1 VET now digital updated September 19, 2029 33 IST 169 Indians in their lawsuit had sought an order directing the Secretary of State and the United States consulates to process, adjudicate, and render final decisions on plaintiff's DS-160 visa application U.S. court turns down a bill by 169 Indian citizens against Trump ban on H-1B photo credit. Plus court turns down a bill by 169 Indian citizens against Trump ban on H-1. Key highlights 169 Indians in their lawsuit sought an order directing Secretary of State and United States consulates to process, adjudicate, and render final decisions on plaintiff's DS-160 visa application says District Judge Amit P. Mehta said Indians who filed lawsuit are unlikely to succeed on their challenge to presidential order however, the plaintiffs can succeed on their administrative procedure at challenge that suspension of processing their visas is arbitrary and capricious, Meta said in 11-page ruling Washington, D.C. A U.S. court turned down the appeal of 169 Indians who challenged U.S. President Donald Trump's order banning the entry of speciality H-1 visa holders in the United States for the rest of the year. U.S. District Judge of the District of Columbia, on Wednesday, in an 11-page order said Indians who got trapped outside the U.S. when borders closed are unlikely to win by contesting the travel ban diet that have Trump. The Indian citizens, in their lawsuit, sought an order from the Secretary of State and the United States consulates to process, adjudicate, and render final decisions on plaintiff's DS-160 visa applications and requiring such swift processing would be an exercise in futility when the complainant would remain ineligible to enter the country until January 1, 2021, at the earliest, Meta said. He argued that bringing such a order risk diverting resources away from H-1B visa applicants who were eligible to enter under some relaxed rules and create substantial confusion for visa recipients attempting to enter the country only to be denied the parts of entry, he added. Recently, the Trump administration relaxed some rules for non-immigrant H-1B visa to be considered for an entry visa, subject to them meeting a particular set of conditions. Meta said the court has already determined on the merits of the case that Indian nationals stuck outside U.S. are unlikely to succeed in their challenge to the presidential proclamation and are likely to succeed on their administrative procedure at challenge that their suspension of processing their visas pursuant to the proclamation is arbitrary and capricious. Attorneys for the Indian nationals have filed a notice indicating their plans to appeal the ruling to the D.C. Circuit. The lawsuit was filed by Indian nationals who were living in the U.S. in lawful non-immigrant status until recently but got trapped once the borders were closed. Foreign nationals in U.S. may face increased reading U.S. embassies to accept visa applications for H-1 renewals temporary relief for H-1 spouses waiting for work permit on June 22, U.S. President Donald Trump, much to the dismay of the huge Indian cohort with H-1 visas, signed a proclamation suspending the entry of specific non-immigrant visas like the H-1B until the end of the year. Indians account for nearly 70% of all H-1B visas issued, with a substantial chunk of H-1B allocations going to U.S. companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon and Microsoft. The tech companies voiced their disagreement with Trump's order banning entry of H-1B visa holders until the end of the year as they use these visas to employ several professionals from India and China.